Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to use ManyChat and more in particular, how to capture leads on Instagram in exchange of a lead magnet. And then we will bring those leads to our table where we are keeping all our leads in an Airtable database. And this video is the first video of the series of our automated CRM, where we are building a fully automated CRM from scratch with Airtable. And the tools that we are using in this video are ManyChat, Make, and Airtable. So if you don't have an account in any of those yet, I left an affiliate link in the description that actually helps a lot. And now let's go into the video. So guys, this is the main dashboard of ManyChat. And if you don't have an account yet, you just have to go to the homepage and then sign up with Facebook because that is gonna make it super easy to connect Messenger and Instagram. Once we are in the main dashboard, we're going to go to settings and then we're going to connect Instagram. So we're here settings, then channels Instagram, and then we're going to connect our Instagram channel. And as you can see here, once we connect Facebook and a Facebook page, we're going to have all the profiles connected to that Facebook page. So in this case, I'm going to connect this one. That is my Instagram profile. So as you can see, it's super easy. And now we're going to click in Let's Start. But first, actually, I want to show you something. And this is that we need to go to settings and we need to go to Instagram because we're going to set up the conversation starters. And actually, this is super important because this is going to be one of the triggers that we're going to have in our flows. So as you can see here, this is basically a preview of what my profile actually looks like. So when a person goes into my DMs for the first time, we're going to have four different bureaus. We're going to have the Let's Work Together bureau, and then we're going to have the information about services, we're going to have the resources library, and then we're going to have other. And if they click in one bureau or another, then we're going to send them to one flow or another. And the one that we are going to see in this video is going to be this one that is the lead magnet. In this case, resources library is my lead magnet, but we actually can send them to other flows. In this case, Let's Work Together is a quiz where we are qualifying the leads and the information about services is an FAQ where basically they can see all the information regarding to our services. So as you can see here, we can link flows, we can edit these fields, we can do basically everything. And when everything is ready, we just have to click in pull list. So now let's go to the automation stuff. And actually, I want to show you something before of going into the automation that I prepared. Because here, and actually this is one of the things that I like the most about ManyChat, we have available all the different templates. And the good thing about these templates is that they are almost ready to go. Like we just have to change some tests and it's almost ready to go. And actually this one that I'm going to show you now, the capture customer data with lead magnet is a more simple version of the automation that we are building in this exact video. So as you can see here, we just have to click on that and then go to set up them. And here, then as you can see, this is fully functional. And then the only thing that you have to do is to change your text then here include a lead magnet at the end and then set live and that will be ready to go. So I'm going to click in delete because I don't want to use this one. And then I'm going to go to the automation stuff. Okay. And I'm going to click in this automation. So we are here in the automation in the flow that we're building today. And actually I'm going to first explain a quick overview and then I'm going to show a step by step of how we have to build. As we can see here, there is a conversation started that is basically the resources library. That is basically when the person clicks on that button that we saw previously on the conversation starters. And also this flows starts when a person sends a message that contains the word efficiency. Then we basically check if the person actually has token with us before and has a first name field with a value or not. And then we basically check if the person follows us and then if the person follows us, then we trigger a webhook in make and we actually send the lead magnet, okay? We capture the email here and then we capture the name here, okay? And now I'm going to go step by step showing how we actually do. So the first thing that we actually have to do is that this trigger the resources library and user clicks a conversation starter is set up automatically because this is set up from the conversation starters menu. But then here we have user sends a direct message with a keyword. In this case, my keyword is efficiency, but it can be many different things. Okay. It can be lead. It can be value. It can be a trigger. It can be literally anything. And if you want to make any change, then you just have to select and click on save. But in this case, I'm going to delete it and that's all. And now let's go to the condition, okay? Because as you see here, we have a condition that this is basically first name has any value. And this is a custom field that actually we created here. And why are we doing this? Because if we talked 
with that person before, it means that we have the first name because in all the flows, we ask for the name. I'm going to show how we actually have to build this one. So it's very easy indeed. We just have to click the node and then select condition and then click to add condition. And then here we go to custom user fields and then click in first name. And if, for example, in this case, the condition that we actually want to set is has any value that actually means that is full that the, we have talked with that person, then we go to the next step. So I'm going to delete this one because I don't want to have it twice. And now we're going to go to this field because if the person actually has talking with us before and we have the first name, it's very easy. We just go here, but if the person didn't speak with us, then it's a slightly different. Just for you to see what we did here, we basically selected this node again. And as you can see here, we're asking for the name. And basically we have to select Instagram and then user input. And then here, just ask for it. A. What's your name? Oh, sorry, actually it's not here. Actually it's here. And then here, in save response to a custom field, we actually have to create a custom field that in this case, a user field. And in this field is going to be first underscore name. And the explanation about this is that if we don't create a field named first underscore name, and we use the default first name field here, what is going to happen is that the username like for example can be borja business automations then it's going to conflict with the first name and then in our database we are going to receive borja business automations as a name instead of borja and it's going to be a bit weird because then if we want to talk them by the name or if we want to say hey borja how are you or whatever then if we say borja business automations how are you it's going to be a bit weird so we have to do like this first name so in this case, I'm going to delete this one again, and then I'm going to reconnect this one. And now let's go to the next step. And as you can see here, there is like two steps. One next step here, sending to the greeting message, and then one that basically goes to a smart delay that basically means that we're going to be waiting X amount of time in order to continue with the automation if the person didn't respond. So I'm going to show again how to do it. And I'm going to do it in this case here. And then we just have to click in smart delay and then set up our time. In my case, I like to do 12 hours and then that would be it. So for example, if we leave it like this, then it's going to be 12 hours here and then it's going to be another 12 hours here. But in this case, I'm going to do this one. So now, as the person did reply, we're going to send another message. And this message is going to be a normal text message with the only difference that then we are going to add a quick reply. So in this case, it's let's do it and not now, but we can actually add like test or whatever. And then this one, we can connect it with another element. So I'm going to delete this one. And now in case that the person actually clicks in, let's do it. Again, we're going to ask for the name because that's important if we want to call them by the name. And if the person actually clicks in not now, then we're going to add an Instagram message. Then we're going to add a delay. And then we're going to add another message. And basically all this combination is going to be the first one saying, okay, you don't want the resource library, then it's cool. Then we're going to wait two, three seconds and then we're going to send a message saying, hey, whenever you are ready, just send again another DM. So I'm going to delete this one again. And let's connect this one. And now let's continue to the greetings message. Now this message indeed is not 100% needed, okay? But I actually like to do it because it's like an explanation of what we are going to give to that person in exchange. It can be a lead magnet, it can be a, a guide, it can be literally anything. So I'm going to show how to build this blog and it's very easy as well. It's just an Instagram text message and then a gallery. Actually, it's not a gallery. Actually, it's an image. So I'm going to delete the gallery. And then here we just have to, hello. And then here we just have to 
add an image. So I'm going to delete this one again. And now I'm going to reconnect this one. And now this one is the most important one almost because here it is where we are collecting the email. So this means that with this message, we actually have to ask for consent to send them emails. And then we actually have to capture the email properly. As before, we're going to use a user input field and we're going to capture it as an email reply. In this case, we don't have to use any custom field because the email actually works pretty, pretty good. There is no confusion with that. So as you can see here, there is two paths. There is the first path that is basically a smart delay from here that actually is two hours. A smart delay from here that actually follows up if the person didn't reply and basically it's the same system. Let's do it and then ask him for the email. And if not, just send the word efficiency again. Then we go here. And what are we doing exactly here? So basically we are setting up a condition and actually this is my favorite part because obviously getting leads is important, but if we also increase our follower count, that is also going to be super important. So in this case, we're going to set another condition, but the condition is going to be a slightly different than the previous one. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to create it from scratch. So we're going to create this condition and this condition is going to be follow, business on Instagram. And what is this? What are we doing with this? Basically, if the person actually follows us on Instagram, it means that the follow business on Instagram is true. Then we go to the next step. But if the person actually doesn't follow us on Instagram, then we ask the person to follow us first. And how are we going to continue the automation if the person doesn't actually follow us? So it's going to be very easy. We're going to create a smart delay of 30 seconds. And with this smart delay of 30 seconds, it's going to loop through this condition. So basically every 30 seconds, we're going to check if the person actually follows us or not. And if the person follows us, then we're going here. But if the person doesn't follow us, then we're going again to the smart delay. And we're going to check it every 30 seconds in the way that if the person doesn't follow us for two, three, four, five minutes, but then starts to follow us, then automatically we continue with the email confirmation. So I'm going to delete this one again. I'm going to delete this one, as you can see, and I'm going to reconnect it. And I'm going to delete this one again. And now I'm going to go with the email confirmation. This one is a simple text block message that is basically this Instagram text. And here we set up the variables. If we want to set up a variable in the text block, we basically have to click on the curly braces and then select the custom user fields or the field that we previously created. So in this case, it's like a double confirmation of Borja. I will send the resources library to your email in the next 24 hours. Remember to check promotions and spam folder. So I'm going to delete this one. And now, and actually this is going to be super important because this is going to connect many chat with Airtable, we're going to trigger a webhook in mate.com. If we actually want to create a webhook in mate.com, first thing that we actually have to do, I'm going to create an action block. And as we can see here, we're creating one here and we're going to click this one, trigger make. But here, we're not going to have any webhook. So what we have to do is go to make.com and then basically create a connection with our ManyChat ac account. So in this case, it's going to be ManyChat and as I have the connection already, I don't need to do it again, but we are going to use the watch incoming data, okay? And here we're going to add a webhook that in this case is going to be lead magnet video, for example. And now once this is saved, once this is working, we're going to go back to here. And now we just have to type it and it's going to show automatically there. So once we have set up the trigger, the webhook, then we're going to reconnect it here. And in this last message, we're actually going to send the link of our lead magnet. And my recommendation is that actually you have a Google Drive folder or a Google Drive link or something like that, because that's the easiest and we don't actually have to send more messages with Airtable or send more stuff, okay? And basically the person can actually access to the lead magnet anytime they want. In this case, this is basically finished, but now we are going to build the full make automation. So we bring the leads from ManyChat to Airtable. So now let's go into ManyChat. And first, actually, I'm going to show you the table that I created. And as you can see here, we have the prospects table. That is the one that, that we are going to be using. We have the meetings table, we have the projects table, and we have the clients table. In this case, 
no need for more okay we are not going to do anything else but here we are going to select an editable module and we are going to create a record so if you don't have a connection yet you actually have to create one and this is mine in this case and then I'm just going to select my table, okay? And that in this case is automated CRM, my base, sorry. And then I'm going to select my table that in this case is prospects. So now we're going to map all the fields that as you can see here, there is not a lot of them. But the problem is that as we haven't received data in this scenario, then we don't have all the fields available. So now we're going to click on this one. We're going to save. We're going to disconnect this one. And now we're going to go to Instagram and we're going to test. Okay, so now I'm going to click in my DMs and I'm going to send a message and I'm going to type the word efficiency, okay? So efficiency and we're asking for the name and it's going to be Borja and as you can see now it actually works because we have detected the name and now we have sent the message and now we are asking for the email address, okay? So in this case it's info at optimalpath.ai and now if everything is good we should have received in mail.com all the information so as you can see the scenario actually worked and now we have here the subscriber and the custom fields so as you can see here we detected the first name that is basically Borja and then we also detected the email that in this case is info at optimalpath.ai so now we're going to be able to map all the different fields correctly so basically we have here emails and email is this one, and then name is custom fields, first name, and then we're going to save it here. So we're going to save this one, and now we're going to go to our table. So as you can see, there is nothing here, and now I'm going to test the automation again. If I want to retest the automation, I just have to send the, again efficiency, and now in this case, I should go to the second step instead of asking for the name in first place, because the bot already knows the name so efficiency and as you saw we went straight forward to the second step and now we are typing a different email because every time that we go through the flow we need to ask for an email okay so in this case i'm going to select this one and i'm going to make sure that this is running so maybe we can actually see it this is here okay so i'm going to send it and now Let's see the information and now let's see how we created the record in our table. So we're going to refresh and now the record is already here. As you can see here, this is a super easy way of capturing leads on Instagram and bringing them into an air table. And from there, we actually have them in our database and we're going to be able to send emails, to contact them or to do whatever we want. And by the way, if you actually want to build this flow, but you don't actually want to build it yourself because you don't have time or because it's complicated, I left a link in the description where you can buy it. So basically you just have to plug and play and you can install it into your ManyChat account straight forward without needing to do anything else. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe because in the next one, we're going to show how to qualify leads on Instagram, also using ManyChat. So see you in the next one, guys.